want you to um, to start looking at it and um, just know that some of the key people that you can look at is Ani Makaere, um, Ani, Ani Makaere uh, Leone Pihama, Ngahuya Murphy, they're just a few. Um, Charlotte Milden, um, her master's thesis also, she's another one that just came to mind. But there is literature and there is um, yeah literature that is coming out and writings uh, coming out written by wahine that are challenging the colonial patriarchal ideology specifically related to our whare specifically related to uh, waifiro and ikurao, our menstruation, and specifically re- um, written about ruahine, um, which is when we go into menopause. Um, in closing, wahine, just know that you are powerful, um, you are, um, you are, yeah, you are um, magnificent, you are mana wahine, and um, that um, brings me probably to the end of my show. Um, so that's how passionate I am about this kaupapa. Um, so that's all I have to share, share today. Uh, next week we're going to have another guest speaker and um, all of our guest speakers I've um, chosen, they are from Wairarapa. They are wahine from Wairarapa and I wanted to celebrate our wahine that live here in Wairarapa and for them to share their stories. Next week we have um, Edith um, who is, as I said, she is an OT to Mapuhiarangi, she facilitates the program Ahuru Mōwai, which is Safe Haven. It is a program for hapu mama, um, pregnant mums and their husband or partner. Um, and she incorporates um, knowledge from Te Wharepora or the House of Weaving. Um, and it is used to um, as part of hauora and holistic well-being. That's me for this week. Um, have a great week. And um, yeah, just remember you are magnificent and you are beautiful wherever you are and be kind. Matewa.